Hey, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. So what is the hat matrix in regression? The hat matrix, let's write down what it is first, is equal to, is a function of the explanatory variables x, x transpose, x inverse, x transpose. We call this a hat matrix. In econometrics, they just call this a matrix P. Now the hat matrix is a projection matrix, more specifically it's an orthogonal projection matrix and that's why perhaps these econometricians call it P, P for projection. But there's a good reason why we call it a hat matrix as well. Okay, first let me it's best to illustrate what is meant by projection matrix or an orthogonal projection matrix using a pictures. That's what I like about linear algebra, we can always do pictures. This projection matrix H maps a vector into the column space spanned by X. Now what the heck does that mean? In terms of a picture, let's simplify things. Let's say the column space spanned by X can be represented by a plane. Okay. Say we have an observation in regression, this is all regression context, y up there. If we apply h onto y, i.e. we do hy, what happens is we project y onto this space. This is the space spanned by x. So we might end up somewhere, if this origin here say, we might end up somewhere like here. But to say that it's an orthogonal projection means that we project it to the point, let's, I'm going to just call it y hat for a specific reason. We project it to a point that in the column space of x that is closest to the vector. And that this here in the column space is closest to this one when it's orthogonal. Isn't it? That's the shortest distance, shortest path. If y hat was here, that would be longer. So to say again, H is an orthogonal projection matrix that projects a vector onto the column space spanned by X. Right. Next I want to talk about how does the Y hat, I mean hat matrix, get its name. Well recall that Y hat denotes a predicted value. If this is the regression model, Y hat is equal to X times the estimated coefficients. Ah, it's this, isn't it? Okay, why is the hat matrix called a hat matrix? It's called a hat matrix because when we apply it to y, we're going to end up with y hat. And that's why h is called the hat matrix. To demonstrate, to prove this, we have to write down the expression now for h. h is x times x transpose x inverse x dash like that. Right, so to finish off with let's sh demonstrate this. The hat matrix H times Y is going to give you Y hat, hence the name hat matrix. We've just said what Y is, so proof. HY, substitute for H into here, is X, X dash X inverse X dash, and then Y. But, this bit here, if you look at it, is the OLS estimator for beta. But this, I've just told you, is y hat. It's the fitted value of y's. Finish. So to summarize, H is a proje orthogonal projection matrix. It maps a vector onto the column space spanned by x. It gets its name because it puts a hat on Y. Econometricians call the H matrix P for projection matrix. So I've summarized what I've gone so far. For completion, I'd like to talk about, well, I'm not going to talk about it now. I should say what I should talk about. It should give you the properties of the H matrix, the linear algebra properties. And I should also talk about 
a related vector, I mean a re related projection matrix, and it's the one it's called I minus H, a related projection matrix, a related orthogonal projection matrix, I minus H, let's call it M. What M does is it maps your vector onto the space orthogonal to the column space spanned by H. In other words, if I applied it to MY here, what I would end up with is this vector. This is MY. Let's just write this. This one is HY. Okay, so that is another a related, it's like the sister projection matrix of H. Now if you look at this you can see, if we finish off this story here, that therefore the vector Y is made up of the bit that is in the column space of X and the vector that is orthogonal to the column space of X. In other words, Y is equal to HY plus uh, MY. Let's just write I minus H. You know, MY. Okay, so this is in the column space spanned by X, X hat. This is orthogonal. And we have a special name for this, don't we? This is, if you look at it, take the Y through the bracket, then it's observed value Y minus Y H, which is Y hat. But Y minus Y hat is called the residual. Okay. So in other words, observation equals the fitted value plus residual, a result that we all know very well. Now I've related it in terms of the two proje orthogonal projection matrices here, the hat matrix and the I minus H matrix. Fantastic. So that leaves me with one other video to do on this, which is to do with the properties of the hat matrix.